and welcome to my new little corner of the world I call home. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an apartment tour. I'm gonna hand off the camera to my husband and hopefully he doesn't screw it up. So you come in and I think one of the biggest things that I was looking for in a home was a light oaky wood floor throughout. Okay, so this is the living room and we have this beautiful little fireplace. I love how like modern and bright and simple it is. We already put this mirror up there, but like we're gonna be take, tackling room by room. And I'm really not gonna be putting much effort into a room until I'm like full design mode. The previous tenant was nice enough to leave their little island. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. I like that it brings in some warmth to this very, very white kitchen which I do love how bright and white it is, but I definitely want to add some color. So stay tuned for that. But we've got a beautiful big kitchen with some beautiful light wash, floating shelves, and they, the last owner also left their mugs here. I guess like a welcome home type of thing. I don't know. We're going to be putting our own stuff up there. We have tons of kitchen cabinetry, but as you can see over here, we have a little bit of a hole in the wall because this is where the fridge is supposed to go, but we have a bigger fridge than what can fit over there. So <clears throat> we're going to be buying a little pantry cabinet just to add to the cabinet space <coughs> and storage for food and the dog's foods and stuff like that. It's cool like gas stove, but it has a griddle in the middle, which is really nice for pancakes and such. We've got food bags on the counter, sleigh. And this is the fridge. We've missed a double fridge so bad because it really helps you eat so much healthier when you can see at eye level what you have versus like our previous apartment, we had the freezer on top and the fridge on the bottom. So I feel like this is gonna be so much better for our health and our pockets if we're not gonna be letting things go bad. And then we have like the little kitchenette dining nook um we're gonna keep the same table we had but it might be a little tight i don't know we might have to sell that one unfortunately it's kind of big i do like having an island but anyways oh, okay, okay. Well. so that was the, are you making sure i'm in the frame um yeah <laughs> i wasn't in the frame you know, <laughs> just don't walk up on me like that <laughs> the living and dining area and follow me this is the hallway that leads to the bedrooms and the bathrooms this is a closet. I'm a, well, actually, I'll show you. It's full of stuff that I don't want to look at. Like, <laughs> you guys don't understand. For the past six months, I've been stressed about packing. I may have just started packing a month ago, but I've been mentally stressed out about it. So I just needed a day where we could get here and not worry about unpacking or organizing because you also have to think about, as a content creator, like I'm always worried. I'm also concerned about filming the unpacking and filming the organizing and making it aesthetic and my brain doesn't stop, so I just needed one day to not think about all that. The closet here, and then if you come this way, cameraman, look at this mirror. <laughs> I love this mirror, I love the light fixture, I love the simple countertops, the faucet. My one thing I wish I could do is like make this gold, but that's too much work for something that's, it's like cute, it's just not super specific to my taste, but that's whatever. We've got a toilet and a shower, and the shower is an overhead rain shower, which is so cool. The tub is kind of small, so I don't know if we'll be doing any more romantic beds. The cabinets, like I am obsessed with this wood tone and everything is like soft clothes. We already put toilet, like, are you kidding? I love that. Slay. But the bedrooms are a little bit darker. Yeah, it's dark in here. Yeah, it's getting darker. But if we come over here, this is my office. I have some ideas for like what I want to do. I think I'm going to do the IKEA pack system over here, and my pop my chair club corner over here, my vanity over here, and my backdrop in the ceiling or something over here. But yeah, that's the office. Again, I love the wood floors. And oh yeah. yeah. This is the walk-in closet. It's very, very tiny. Like, I could probably fit my jackets in here or something. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, it's Which literally... Which is what you have in there, jackets. Yeah, it's a hot mess. 
And here we have the second bathroom, which is the one that my husband and I are gonna be using. It's got double sink, double vanity, and um, yeah, pretty much the same. It's a little tight, so my husband's Just like- Just stand over there. Well, otherwise I'm showing him the toilet, oh, yeah. so. So it's got double sinks, double vanities, similar finishes, but it's round, like it's smaller, um, and it's a little bit tighter, but I do like- Day, second day here and we got ready we're gonna go get groceries and just some random cleaning supplies that I guess I left behind I can't find them but the lighting in here is actually so good like it's perfect because it's not so hot and sunny we're gonna go and we'll catch up with you we just got back from Trader Joe's we also grabbed sushi but we were starving, and I ate that in like five seconds. But we got dates, apples, carrots, bell peppers, spinach for my smoothie, pineapple, ginger for my smoothies, almond milk, chips, tacos, cowboy caviar, eggplant garlic spread. We did forget bread and avocados, but we're gonna go to a different store and get like trash cans and stuff. We got cubes for the smoothie, uh, chunky salsa. Obviously, we had to get these. They're always at the checkout. Butters, some oranges, and my husband got me. Everything but the bagels are my favorite bagels. Oh, I got the waffles. I'm really excited about this. Romaine lettuce, some chili crunch for my avocado toast. I also got some sparkling water, lemon, and the mandarin cranberry flavor, and some beautiful hydrangeas to bring our place to life. And that is the haul. all the crap in it yeah we got the tv which will need mounting this is actually the couch for my office but until but the for now she's the here's the thing if we put it together will it's we be able easy. to then take it super yeah. easy and we've got our dining easy. table which at first we were like oh it might be too tight but we just shifted this over a little and it's fine now got our mirrors i'm so excited to put this baby in my office we have a bed finally we don't have a headboard but Baby steps, baby steps. It looks perfect in here. Even this, like, this doesn't look too bad in here. We'll have to center everything, but looks good. We'll definitely be able to fit our nightstands and have some room for walking, which is more than we could say for our previous room. And my office is filled to the brim with boxes, boxes that I've got to put in my new closet. Super exciting. We're gonna go run to the grocery store one more time. We have all our nightstands, all of my clothes, which made up most of that move, the desk. And I really didn't want to start packing, unpacking until they left because I wanted to be able to vlog it. How you doing? That's a look if I ever saw one. I feel like finally, like calm. the couch but 
I kind of want to save that for the podcast reveal. So for now, I'm just going to put this on top. Also, I need, uh, what is it called? Spoiler alert, it's a white couch. And I don't want to get it dirty before the pod premiere. So I just need to get some Scotch Guard and spray it on the fabric. Um, and then put it in the office. But our actual couch gets here Sunday and it is Tuesday. So this is gonna come in handy. Although, what are you looking for? Breezy, oh food? You guys need food, huh? I'm pooped and it's only 6.40. I think it's just, one, I'm on my period, so my energy level usually is not super high during this time. In fact, usually I have the habit of like accidentally falling asleep during the day while I'm on my period, and I have not been able to do that for obvious reasons. And we've had long driving days, long on, well, cleaning and organizing days. And we're about to have a long packing week basically and then I have an event on Sunday so super excited but I think we're gonna call it a night here good morning it is day I don't even know what what's today and we've got all of this to take care of I think today I'm gonna try to unpack the kitchen we just made coffee which we still have to perfect but I'm excited to get this kitchen together because when the kitchen is together, that's when it feels like home, I think. <laughs> Let's get to it. Of course, in the place box, I have a corset, a tank top, another tank top, a skirt, curtains, two bowls, three bowls, more curtains, a scarf, another bowl, more curtains, another scarf, more bowls. First box down, baby. And in this box, we have Halloween costumes, thrift flips that I need to do, underwear, and plate. <laughs> All that to keep one plate. Oh, we got another plate. excited for because towards the end there I was just fitting whatever I could in a box and this is one of those boxes let me show you it's not gonna be cute it's not gonna be aesthetic okay maybe I should have waited to open this one until we have a pantry which if I haven't already said we ordered a pantry to fit right there Please, you live like 300 pounds. It's not that heavy. Oh, it's heavy, bro. Okay, so we've got some spices, nuts, um, oatmeal. That's pretty much this one, so I think I'm gonna wait until we get the pantry in for this box. Kitchen cups and vases. Vases, baby. It's a little close. To protect the pieces, we've got our future child's Harley Davidson jacket. The child that I don't want to have for like five years, but we got them a jacket three years ago. <laughs> Lots of clothing in here to protect the goods. At first I was thinking like, ooh, the closet might be a little empty. Like, I don't know that I could fill it up. I think I'll be able to fill it up. Also, I super duper lucked out when I went looking for boxes and there was a store, I think it was The Loft in Dallas that was getting rid of a shit ton of boxes. So, lucky me, I got a shit ton of free boxes. Boz one. Oh, this is a measuring cup. Measuring cup two. Oh, more plates. Oh, yay. Forgot about these cups. Oh, it's more what the fuck is in here? Uh, probably everything else. 
It's so heavy. That looks so much more normal. I don't know what I was doing before. Okay, we have finished-ish packing up or unpacking the kitchen. We've got our cups, our mugs, our plates. We actually don't have a junk drawer, which is kind of amazing. Actually, the junk drawer gives me so much anxiety, but we've got our utensils like right next to the cook stop, what? The stove. And we have like Ziplocs and foil and stuff here. And over here is going to be our spice drawer. Um, and coffee stuff, which in previous places we've always kept our spices in the pantry. I figured it would be nice to have it right next to the stove because, you know, and then it's like all flat so you see every single spice instead of having spices like hiding behind each other. But right now, my husband is going to take <clears throat> the tables uh, that we use as nightstands and put them in the room. He unpacked his closet, which I don't want to show. That's all his business, but he did that. So we've got Gorgina. Putting his boxes out of the way. The man of the hour. Yeah, baby. Oh, I was about to move all the boxes to the other side of the room so that I could get a good after shot and post my closet vlog. Um, hey babe, you want to help me do that? Thank you. Also, so I can actually start putting stuff away. Okay, we just moved all the boxes from one side to the other and I'm gonna start looking for the bathroom boxes. Here's the thing is like, this would be the perfect little selfie area, but then we'd have two mirrors, but still put it up there because definitely a mirror has to go up there. That mirror, yeah. And it also makes it look taller, which is nice. Cause these ceilings are pretty low, which is cozy but it does look nice to have some difference in height. Future vibes, like a candle sconce with fake candles. Have you ever seen, do you know what a sconce is? No, why would I, why would I know it? It's like a little thing you put on the wall and it like holds a candle or a light, but it'll be a fake candle. Like in uh, a super old house? Yes. Yeah. That's the vibe. Why would we do that? Because it's cute. You don't know anything. But you're not actually going to use you're the candle. No, it's not plugged in. It's just battery. Anyways. Another thing to take away from my Xbox controller. Please. Please with the Xbox. Anyways, I don't know where to put this mirror because I feel like this is a really cute spot. But we'll figure it out. This is the least important. Most, one of the most important is figuring out a little entryway, which I ordered the thing and then it was on my old card. So then it <laughs> failed. Um, I was thinking a little console table or a floating shelf right here with, I don't know, some thing, maybe another mirror, maybe, maybe that square mirror right here. I don't know, it could be too much. I've unpacked the bathroom box and this is what we have in here. So I'm just gonna go through and organize it. There's um, a repair guy coming, so I'm not gonna be talking, but just more organizing. My boobs look so juicy. Okay. working on the closet unfortunately my camera was dead and I couldn't find my charger to charge the camera but this is the update I feel like we made a lot of progress this I'm not loving so I'm definitely going to be shallow and fold my t-shirts because it just doesn't look good hanging up but we've got long sleeve jeans short sleeves 
to tube tops, t-shirts, dresses, skirts. And then I'm starting to do the drawers. Luckily, they're huge. Like, they're so much bigger than my previous dresser. They were, like, more shallow, but... Here's the couch. It's from Living Spaces. It's a reclining couch, as you can see. And my husband is working on plugging that all up. It is huge. It's massive. She's huge. I would say she's almost... She's, like, the size of our cloud couch dupe from Ashley. But the arms are a little different. And obviously it's only a three piece, uh, but it is modular. So you could get other pieces if you want, but because it's a recliner, I feel like you don't even need like another portion. I don't know. We also have that chair over there and I think maybe one over here, but I'm glad I waited for the couch to come in because now I have a better idea of what else I want to do in here. Um, especially with a rug size and all that. Look at her and she's so comfy. Like... You just ooh, take right in. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my god. I am never leaving ever. Wow. Baby you gotta sit in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. This could borderline be like a bed for someone to come in, like, if they visit us. I'm gonna spray the couch down with this. I used this with our first couch at our house. Anyways, we're spraying this down. The key parts, if you have a dog, right here. I can tell you right now, Turner's gonna be right here looking outside. So you gotta keep that key. Yeah, and Bruce is gonna be. And he's gonna be right here. Bruce is gonna be sitting on these cushions. I know. Here's... Show, show.